the Chickadee Knitting Club Knitting Podcast. My name is Caitlin, this is Simka, and this is a podcast where I share what I've been knitting, what I'm crafting, and I take you along on my journey as a new occupational therapist. I'm going to set you down now, okay? The only finished object I really have to speak of is this little guy. This is a... Um, just a, a square that I've sewn and then made like an X through so that the um, two sides don't pull apart easily. Um, it's just a little face cloth wipe thing. One side has like pansies and mushrooms and leaves in light pinks and greens and blues. And on the other side, it's got um, a darker green background and a lighter sage green um, contrast with big leaves and ferns and other kinds of things. So it's quite nice to look at that I decided to sew up a bunch of because I wanna get back into sewing. I've got a pretty big project in mind for later in the year and I want to kind of get back to basics. I reacclimated myself to a sewing machine last year, um, but it's been a while since I've sat down. So I wanted to you know, practice making straight lines figuring out like stitch length and tension and all the other kinds of things, how to actually hold on to the fabric to keep it going straight. Um, and so my next project after that is going to be the same kind of thing. I have a front fabric and a back fabric. Um, this is just a bunch of duckies and yellow ducks and purple and blue raindrops on a white background. And then like a mustard yellow plaid that I'm going to use to kind of make um, like a hand towel to take out in public if I don't feel like using the paper um, dispenser towels and or to take to the gym so that I can just disinfect the equipment that I'm using without using up a bunch of paper towels. Knitting wise I have dug into my island of misfit knits and I am resurrecting a long um, not quite nearly as long as some of my other knits, but um, one that's been in there for quite a while that actually is going so smoothly right now. I think it might have been last January's knitting podcast. I'm not quite sure, but I had introduced um, and brought out my, at that time, current work in progress, which was um, the Current Mood Shawl by Graffiti Knits. It's a, um, it altered, it's a diagonal shawl, big ol' rhombus, with um, alternating between a ripple stitch, um, two color brioche, two color ripple, um, and a lot of different yarns, and you can do a lot of things with that. Um, and at that time, I had tried many, many times to start and continue the project but I had to keep frogging back because something would always go wrong and I was wondering what it could possibly be. I was following the pattern exactly as exactly as I could and on top of it um like the needles kept snapping. It was it was it was a mess. It was quite a mess. So completely frogged back, started again and um it's going very smoothly now. It didn't start out very smooth, um, but I'll get to that in a little bit. I just want to show it off for you. This is it so far. Um, yeah, I'm showing you the right side. Um, it starts out with a darker reddish salmon shade, then contrasts it with a lighter salmon, and then goes into this white yarn with flecks of um, red, orange, gold, and light blue. Um, but you can see that brioche ripple alternating pattern. So here's the ripple at the bottom, then the two color brioche, ripple, two color brioche, ripple, and then I'm halfway through this two color brioche. And I can't quite remember what the yarns were off the top of my head, but I will definitely make um, a list in the description like I do all times. But uh, these were some yarns I had stashed away like I usually do. I got them just because the combination was lovely um, and I didn't quite know what to do with it at that time. But then for my birthday, I got um, Big Little Yarn Co. I always mix up the name of that, but Big Little, unless it's Little Big Yarn Co. 
no, it's Big Little Yarn Co. Um, had a uh, Studio Ghibli yarn club. In it was um, a set of yarn that was based around Havel's Moving Castle, which is my favorite Studio Ghibli movie. And so it has a main sock yarn. This is the one that it's the whitish cream base with um, light blues, light oranges, reds, golds, lots of bits of purple all throughout. Um, and then a main sock base that from afar looks like it is just a single color, sort of reddish, orangish, goldish, pinkish kind of thing. Um, but it has all those colors just like interwoven and mixed throughout. And it's quite lovely to look at. So when I um, was comparing these yarns with the ones that I had saved up and I saw on some knitting podcast, someone had been working on the current mood shawl and was saying that it was very potato chippy as in like you just kept wanting to knit more um so I, I wanted a potato chippy project so I cast it on and the rest is history um but going back to this project I had high hopes that I would be able to figure it out this time um and at first I was quite wrong really just this first two so this first ripple stitch and then like halfway through this iteration of the brioche so the first two inches took me an entire season of avatar the last airbender to get through because i kept having to rip out and frog and redo the brioche because i kept doing it wrong and this time it was because i wasn't reading the pattern the previous time like the last time I tried making this, I tried to follow the pattern and it just did not work out. This time, I think I decided that I would um, try things my own way, which was a, that was my big mistake. Um, and also just not trusting the pattern. After all those hours, ripped it all back and then followed the pattern exactly as it says and it worked out funny how that worked um uh yeah it was so smooth and then I did the next ripple stitch and I was like okay I gotta brace myself here comes the next brioche and it was smooth and this happening again I'm on the third um third repetition of the brioche and I'm loving it and I can't really put it down I have to keep making a mental note of which part of the pattern that I'm on um because I don't want to stop and uh, when I have to, I can't wait to get back to it. So um, this is it so far. Um, it's going to be very, very long. And I know for a fact that the yarn that I have isn't gonna last the whole shawl. I'm gonna have to get some more, um, but I don't think that I'm gonna get the exact same yarns as I had started with. I think I'm going to incorporate a bunch of new ones that are on the same color theme. Um, and just have fun with it because I'm having a lot of fun right now. I also have some fabric acquisitions because I'm still very much a beginner when it comes to sewing um, and I don't want to pay lots and lots of money for fabric that's going to end up becoming a very poorly made um, beginner's attempt at a project. I've um, been going to thrift stores and, and this is something I've been doing for a while. I just love when I do get out thrifting um, to go past the sheets and the curtains and see what fabric is there. And I've gotten a few really nice ones. Um, but the last time that I went, I got this set of curtains. That's this cream and blue green gingham sort of fabric. And this absolute like 90s bed sheet. Like this is, it's just, it's got, Looking back, like seeing the whole thing, there's these, either they're diamonds or they're squares, depending on how you hold it. Um, just lots of colors, lots of angular shapes and stripes and lines and cream, beige base, and there's pinks and greens, sort of brownish yellows and purples and purpley blues, and it just goes through. Um, it's just fun. And so um, I think I'm gonna make like PJs or something out of it. Um, but since it's a fitted sheet, I've been just tearing out um, 
the corner elastics. And now, um, not only do I have this fun, massive bit of fabric to work with, but I also have a bunch of elastic. Um, so that's great. This was like two bucks. So um, highly recommend if you are into sewing um, and either don't want to spend a lot of money um, or don't want to waste nice fabric. Not that learning a new skill is ever a waste or you just want to be a little more sustainable. Highly, highly recommend um, thrifting your fabric. And it's fun, you never know what you're gonna get. But that's kind of all I have right now. Um, it's been really low key craft wise this year, but so far overall, it's been quite a good year. Simka wanted to say goodbye. So we both hope that um, you have a fantastic end of your January, beginning of your February, um, and that you take good care of yourself. I'll see you 